as a top-level overview of what uh, OpenAPI or Swagger 2.0 uh, looked like. Uh, if you look at the root level, uh, you can see there's a bunch of objects uh, which makes the, the root itself very um, complicated, very loaded. And we wanted to just try and uh, make it easier to write and just easier to find things, right? So we ended up moving to um, a completely new and simplified structure. And uh, you can even see in terms of like color schemes in the, in, in the diagram Program. So things like definitions, parameters, and responses, and security definitions uh, went out of the components part. Uh, the producers and consumes uh, disappeared, and we'll cover that in a bit. And it, it's somewhat inside the path uh, today. Uh, the whole space path, base path, and schemes have been condensed into one uh, object called servers. Uh, and yeah, that's it. That, Right now, if you look at the top level document, it looks a lot cleaner. And it's uh, very, much easier to navigate through. Uh, and if, if we talked about reusability, right? So uh, the components actually now holds everything that's reusable um, in the spec. Uh, we increased the number of reusable objects from four to nine. Some of them are. Uh, new objects that we introduced to the spec, which again we'll cover in a bit, like links and callbacks. Uh, we added um, examples and headers, which were still, they did exist in 2.0, but now you can actually reuse those. And we also, uh, if we talked about naming um, before, we also renamed some of the um, components to make it just easier to, to understand that this is what they are. So definitions is, is now schemas. Uh, for those of you know, who know, we used to refer to uh, definitions as the schema object. So we just wanted to use the same name for everything. And the same thing happened to security definitions uh, changed to security schemes because that's the name of the object itself. Mm -hmm.